Is this the room I'm familiar with? No, I still think I haven't been in here. My god. I really have been to like 10% of the moonworks. <clears throat> oh, Jesus Christ. Am I bleeding? Um, skin graft? No, that's burn trauma. Skeletal coagulating gel. There we go. I don't think I want to fall. I don't know if I could get back up. Also, where did the body go? I want to see if it has a stop time on it. Hold on, let me see if I can stop time. Ooh, just fended it off. Crater access. Decommissioned crater access, oh. Where's this? Remember, still looking for food. Gotta remember that. There's a hole up there. Asteroid fragment. That's unique. Is that used for something special? No. Probably just for the recycling material. Attention, everyone. Removing control modules from harvesters for other purposes isn't okay. Please file a proper request so we can track supplies and make everyone's life easier. Thank you. Holy crap. I don't know if you heard that in the microphone, but uh, there's thunder outside. Like, in, in real life, I mean. Mass driver feeder. Hi, Kelly. I was thinking about the Master Driver feeder in the central mine. I mean, this thing is connected to the most powerful device on the moon base. So why are there no safety protocols? As far as I can tell, when the Master Driver is warming up, someone could just slip into the feeder and get launched into space after the cargo container is loaded. I know, you're thinking, Jordan, why would someone do something so crazy? But people do crazy shit all the time. Just look at Wagner. Anyway, something to keep you up at night. Moonquakes. Many of you had questions about last week's moonquake and the fact that we've decommissioned access to the machine shop in the aftermath. Let me assure you that structural integrity has not been compromised. The quake did dislodge some rocks that injured Kelvin Tyler. Rest assured he's doing well, but access to the area near the crater door is prohibited for the time being. Feel free to reach out with any additional concerns. Where do I want to go? Up the hole? I'm exploring this place so non-methodically that I just I don't know where I've been and where I haven't been at this point. Also, please? Food? Please? I just need a single piece of food? Fried hard drives and circuit boards doesn't help. Oh, this will get me back up here. Okay. down this way. That's how I came into this place initially. Ah, I'm going back. Yeah, let's see what's over here. Oh my god, Big Bang Candy. Heck yeah. We're about to be corruption level 5, by the way. I'm so high on corruption that I'm definitely 
just like probably going to reset the simulation after this run. So let's continue to explore as much as we reasonably, reasonably can. Find new stuff. See what the heck is over here. Whoa. Instability. Hello. Shall I kill the Technopath? Hold on, what is the Technopath weak to exactly? I don't know because apparently I've never scanned it. Weak to Electric Explosive Psychic EMP. That's a lot. Do I have anything that can do any of those? Psychic. I don't have like a grenade that just explodes or any sort of electricity thing, I think. Psychic, I could do with the charge shot on my melee weapon. Psychic aptitude available. Right, like I've got a. Oh, I have an EMP charge. Okay. What is that? Is that a nightmare? Oh god, that's a moon shark. There's a moon shark inside of here. Holy shit. Okay, well, I'm in a pretty good position to take it out if it's staying above ground and doesn't seem to be able to hurt me. Um, what exactly is my objective for the moon shark? I have to kill it a special way, right? With my Typhon Spore. And I have those, don't I? I have two. No, six. Okay. Let's just throw one down and see how much damage it does. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just how powerful are these things? One of these little things just killed a moon shark? Glue one voltaic mimic with your glue cannon. That was worth like 6,500 points, I think. Damn. There's really no reason to take any supplies. Again, I'm just looking at like unlocking stuff, understanding more about how everything is configured. Delay some time. I might have wasted some of that. Because it took me all the way... Yeah, I can't, it can't reverse the corruption level, so you want to wait till you have, I guess, at least 25% corruption before you use one. And it might have been at, like, 20%. Yeah, I'll save that one. Where is this? I've been to none of this. It's gonna really suck when I come back here to explore it again. Cause I'm not gonna know where I've been and where I haven't. Refinery, something or other. Let's go recycle. I'm just gonna make as many neural mods as possible. Which is two of them. We're just gonna make anything else, right? Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, might as well spend as many neural mods as possible, cause those stay with the character forever, even between resets. So let's just get stuff. Let's get toughness 1. 25, or 35 more health. Oh, Jesus. That is... What does it say? Corrosive. I think it just, like, almost corroded my shotgun. Oh, it's at 32%. Okay, it's, it's fine. I thought it said 1% on the readout on the shotgun or something. Maybe it was just minus 1%. Right. 
don't need to go back to the Master Ever just yet. We got a bit more time. As much as I'm antsy to do so. Got a while. Till we might get kicked out, and then I have a delay time, so we're good. So this heads to the crater. Yeah, I can really just zoom through these rooms because I'm not I don't need to pick up any supplies. Just looking for key cards and whatnot. Nice. Yeah, I think to beat this DLC, I probably need to develop a very good understanding of the layout of the base and where supplies are and where I need to go to, like, oh, I gotta go to this place to get this key card, then do this with this character to unlock this escape. Because the goal is to escape Tidious. with everybody. I'm happy to report that Moonworks has completed another quarter without any serious accidents or loss of equipment. Keep up the good work. Morton Rybuck. Is that this person? Yeah. Died right outside their office. Mining foreman. Gotta hack it. That's it for this area. Unless I want to head back to the crater, which I don't. Now for this dark and dismal mining area. Where'd I go from here? Advanced glue cannon. That, I think I want. How do I drop you? How much better is that cannon? 75% handling, better range, 175% reload speed. That's a big difference. Now this is where I came from? Question mark? Ah, uh, who the hell knows? Oh, toasty. Sorry if I scared the shit out of you. Kinda scared the shit out of me. I didn't mean to do that. Let's just switch to the melee weapon. If I accidentally click, it's no big deal. Another level 4 hack. Center. Okay, now we're back here. Right. I never went all the way up the stairs there, right? No, I didn't. Hmm. Clear the area. Ooh. 
Let's go ahead and use the delay time. Start the Master Driver launch sequence. Yeah, where do I do that from, huh? Oh, it's way up there. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad I started doing that before we we're kicked out of the simulation. How did I get up there before? That works. Yeah, I probably have to go up the stairs for that one. There's the... <laughs> it's an advanced Huntress Boltcaster. Has that one been modified to do damage? Attacks do plus 10 fire damage. Whew. Advanced wrench. Getting the good stuff up here. I'm feeling a little bit pressed for time. Psychostatic like cutter fabrication. Oh, I can make more of these. Nice. Right, what? Oh god, that's a bigger room. What horrible things are in this room? What was that? What? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. We to electric, EMP, and explosive. Where's that poltergeist? Tele oh, maybe it's not a poltergeist. Maybe it's the telepath. Oh, there's people over there. Oh, no. Shit. Uh, how do I deal with that? I mean, I'm going to have to kill the people. I know they tried to kill me. I don't think you could save them. I don't have a stun gun on me. I'm just gonna have to kill him. Typhon Spore could be good. Throw that in there and just let it do some stuff. Blue charges. I got a bunch of recycler charges. I could just toss a bunch of those. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. I saw it. I thought... I thought the psychoscope made it so that I could see poltergeists and stuff. How come I can't see this one? Yeah, I think they heard that over there. Do I have anything for my concussion? Nope, I just got a concussion now. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
mind jack available. Oh, that's for the human, right, not the main enemy. Weakness to glue, psychic, and stun. New psionic aptitude available. Weakness to explosive, fire, and null wave. Do I have a null wave? New psionic aptitude. I don't. I sort of have fire from the Huntress Boltcaster. I can't imagine that would do that much damage, though. I mean, 10 damage isn't much. I'm still liking a bunch of recycler charges. Available. Or this. Okay, they're they're coming. Shit. Wait, is it just it is it is it just broken? And I can't repair it. Oh fuck. All right, that's that's real bad. Hmm. Okay, it's kind of lost me. Um, recycler charge. Attention, everyone. Our good custodian, Claire Whitten, would like to remind everyone that your mom doesn't work on Pythias. So let's all do our best to practice good restroom etiquette and leave things in as good of condition as we found it. Thank you. Okay. The area. Oh yeah, we are pretty close to being kicked out of the simulation. my suit doing? I'll just use the suit repair. There's no reason to be precious about him. Sorry. First blue one. Increases maximum psi pool by 50. Slowly regenerates psi over time. That is very good. Doesn't particularly matter for this character, but especially for the first one that has 100 psi or 150, whatever it is, relies on psi so much, that'd be extremely good. Uh, one container eligible for loading. Launch sequence cannot be cancelled. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to get there very quickly. Right, I'm probably gonna have to run. Yep, they're very specific about that. Cannot be cancelled. Alright, let's go. Launch sequence yep, I got I got one minute, holy shit. Ah! Ooh, that sounded bad. Ooh, that sounded real bad. Five seconds. Let's take a med kit and drink some coffee on the way. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Please ensure container is secure. They won't personnel it. I hope I don't die from the G forces. Escaped Mass Driver. 
Congratulations, you escaped using the mass driver. Remember, successive escapes in the same run lead to increasingly larger sim point rewards. Nice. That is a lot of points. Priority alert, you have a new incoming message from Basilisk exiting simulation. M13, this is Basilisk. Don't let those virtual deaths get you down. It looks like you're just over a quarter of the way through the orders we sent you. Don't forget to keep checking them. You can see your orders from the ready room or from within the simulation itself. Everyone here is very happy with your progress. So OC thought it appropriate to authorize some mail from home. I sent it to your workstation. Basilisk out. I've been good enough that they've allowed my family to communicate with me. Nice. Enjoy this slideshow of family photos. Jesus Christ. I'll check that in a second. The photos are on the slideshow utility. Here's a letter from Ty. Daddy, I love you. We got a new house, and Mommy says to say thank you. My friend lives next to us. She's so nice. I miss you. Please come home soon. Love, Ty. Last thing, you should see two new companion apps you can use next time you're in the sim. Take a look at the neural mod section of your transcribe. Hope you like them. There's my dose of family. Back into the sim. Alright, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. Were these here before? Anyway, I uh, hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to reset the simulation. I'm going to go in as a different character. See what new things we can complete. More story objectives, hopefully. Get some more neural mods. And, of course, look at the Cosmo orders and see how many we can do.